Hello, my friends. Welcome. Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Kate, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I haven't sat down to do a reading for a while. It feels like a while. That's like public like this. I was getting all of the Richard Allen. I don't want to talk about it, but what I wanted to say was we've come a long way in a year. I was still working corporateville i was like feeling the urge to do this full time and i fought that as hard as i possibly could and there's a saying it's like let go or get dragged i got dragged i did not i like i liked my life i liked the security of corporateville and i was an exec i'd been doing it for a really long time and it was an international company. I had the recognition, the paycheck, everything was fine. And then right around those videos, it was like, I think I had like another month or something before the universe did for me what I could not do for myself. And our studio's gotten some upgrades. And so I wanted to thank you, especially the OGs who've been here the whole time. And if you're new, welcome to the party. I have a few things I'd like to talk to uh, Miss Peggy about today. I thought that I had been giving her the benefit of the doubt. And now I have about 10 questions that I'd like to ask her. If you're in the balcony, you can probably see them. I have concerns. <laughs> They're not concerns. I don't care about her. I just think that I want to know. I have a lot of questions. So let's get this started. If I feel intuitively that I can't go into something, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna keep it on the list and we'll do it later. I've already called in the quarters, asked for protection. I've asked John and Sandra if they'd like to join us to give us some guidance. And I would like to know, question one. Should I start with that? Okay, this is an easier one. The first one was a little bit, we'll have to warm up. Are Peggy and Paul acting solely in the interest of justice? I could just do yes, no's on that. I could just, I, I'm gonna go out and, well, we'll see. All right, okay, so there's about 10 questions here that I was just looking at, I wouldn't call it research, but going through these cases has taught me, or us, the research team, <laughs> that you have to save everything because they'll just wipe it. And they can just make whatever they want. They can make background checks, social security, or yeah, that too, but uh, social media. So, I've been, I was just going, after seeing Karen in court today, and like, nice to see Auntie Bev put some lipstick on. She hasn't changed a bit. She's still huffing and puffing. I couldn't really watch it. I was, oh wait, Alan Jackson looks nice with a beard. Oh, is this No Shave November? <gasps> oh, it probably is actually. So my first question is, are Paul and Peggy, I don't, I mean, we could, I don't, acting solely in the interest of justice, or do they have other intentions? But the first question, because it's a yes or no, we're just going to ask, are Peggy and Paul acting solely in the interest of justice? I feel like we don't need cards for this, but answer unsure, ask again. Are, do Peggy and Paul have nefarious intentions? We don't need to need cards for that. Hold on, that cut weird. I'll tell you later. These cards don't even wanna play with our, throwing some Stacy Chapin vibes. Um, I don't go after family members. I just wanna make, I saw a comment that I go after family members. No, I don't. I don't really have an opinion 
because I am a medium, I can communicate and feel and communicate with the other side. And when families, which we haven't had one case yet that the family's not directly, literally involved, then that's who my energy just doesn't align with that. And so it's not that I don't like Paul or Peggy. I don't like them, but I also could care less. I think they're trash. And if you're watching, I think you're trash. And your thing is so obviously see-through. Karen, I know, I think it was a second Vanity Fair article said the next day, it pretty much sounded to me like Peggy was framing her. So, all right, let's do this a different way. The next one of the other, I have 10 questions, so we're gonna feel it out. What underlying energies connect Paul and Peggy to Karen? Oh, this will be like a mashup. All right, let's do, uh, can you sky? Okay, we're gonna do, Karen will be on the right. Okay, I'm gonna set this up different. We just got Brian and Albert. Shocker. I saw something on TikTok that he did something recently. I don't know how old it was, but I doubt it. All right. What I just thought of was to do almost separate, but we'll do Karen on the top and the dark side on the bottom. I don't even like their, I don't like using their names. I feel like they don't, I don't respect them enough to even use their names. All right. The moon, that's her, that's her. And the sun. The sun, oh, that's Peggy. She's a fire sign. Let's do, okay, well, Karen's here. Sorry, I'll probably, hopefully I'll remember to cut that. What I want to do is just a reading on Peggy and Paul right now, their energy right now. And then put it against Karen's. <laughs> Whatever your political leaning is, I've said this before, when um, the kids in the cages, well, without the context of that story, it does look animalistic context of the story that didn't get printed in the mainstream was that Donnie was looking for DNA because he wanted to make, he's trying to break up these trafficking rings and the heads are about to turn. I would say all over and especially with JFK in there. I mean, he has like 50 years worth of research and anger. So I just want to do a reading on these two. I don't know why. Something just felt really weird to put Karen next to him. It's like she's not that. All right, Brian Albert's back. This The intention I just set was for, yep, judgment days here. Scorpio. That's that mystery Scorpio energy that we never, oh. <gasps> if I'm not staring at the camera. Uh, that's that mystery Scorpio energy. Judgments just jump, or judgments here. The Hermit's asking us to look at, they're still fighting, but I know that they're wish, wash, he's washed up and put away wet. Oh, here's John O'Keefe, dead little boy. I don't know why, I think I don't know why I'm emotionally involved in this. I think I'm just like, it's, it's frustrating. Oh yeah, this is a battle. There's a lot of grief. Oh, here's John, our buddy. Happy, here's our fake happy home. All right. 
<laughs> the Hereford's here. Good. <laughs> I love that. All right. So I just wanted to do John and, I mean, I'm sorry, John. Paul and his trash bucket vessel. I don't know. I was going to call her a sperm donor, but <laughs> she doesn't know who's who. Allegedly. Oh, this is all for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. Everyone has Google. I'm literally a chick with a tarot deck. And I just wanted to know about Peggy and Paul. <laughs> the good news is the Hierophant's here. I mean, they're low vibe. They're like in their root chakra. Well, here's this hero of this story. Here's the Hierophant. Here's John O'Keefe, our little fool. Ran into the slaughterhouse. And here is Brian Albert. So these are the good guys. Josh Levy, whether he keeps his job or not, I don't know if he will or not. He m might have to speed up. Donnie is a spitfire, I will say. Whether you like him or not, it doesn't matter. He's the gov or the president now. <clears throat> If Josh Levy doesn't start pulling the triggers, I think he's going to get it because Donnie's going to want his heads roll. Donnie's going to want to see some action quick, not this trickle down effect. I'm guessing it's allegedly. So here's our Brian Alberts playing for the light. Good job. John O'Keefe, the Hierophant. Judgment Day is coming. This is the part that is judgment. This is our mystery Scorpio. Because these two are still engaging in lower chakra trash. They had a dead little boy on their lawn. And <clears throat> here's Colin. Colin, I think he's in the Aries. Yeah, Colin's all over this. One of the questions I should ask is what's their... I might need to get a drink. They. Oh, Sandra was choked. I was like, why am I choking right now? Sandra must be here. <coughs> I'm like literally choking. Okay. I wonder what their invested interest in protecting Collins all over this. I mean, here's preparing for battle, here is battle, here is the battle, here's walking away with the weight of the world, here's grief, I don't know, that could be Karen. <clears throat> here's a spoiled little brat sitting on the lawn, here's her fake happy home. That's nothing new, we need that. But I was literally just choking, like I was choking. I thought it was <clears throat> one of our very vigilant friends. Someone got choked and I started choking. I can't remember. That must have been the Idaho case. I'm going to pause you for a second because I need to go get some water. I'm literally, <laughs> I'll be right back. <clears throat> 